Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at F strings. Alright, let's get going. So, so far this is a program you could have written. I have three integers and I need to join them to strings. But as you remember, strings plus integers are not happy. I need to convert them to strings before I can join them to other strings. But this is really complicated and error prone. There's lots of places to mess this up with the pluses, the quotation marks, and the spaces. What if I told you there was a better way to do this? Well, there is and it's called the F string. So here's what the F string looks like. Basically, we have a string. Again, remember the string is the quotation marks. And the F comes before that. Inside the quotations is what we want to print. And then we have the curly braces. And inside the curly braces is a variable. And when we print it out, it will print the value of that variable. All right, so here I have my old code that I just wrote using casting and concatenation. I will rewrite it with F strings. Hopefully, you can see it's a lot easier to read. It's definitely a lot easier to write. Here I'm rewriting Mad Libs. I'll rewrite it the old way and then rewrite it with F strings. And hopefully here you see it's definitely a lot easier to read and to write. You can also do expressions inside the curly braces. So in this example, I have a 5 plus 10. That's equal to 15, which is what prints out. But you have to be careful. There's an order of operations that goes on. So whatever's inside the curly braces goes first. And in this example, number 1 is a string because it comes from an input. So a string plus integer does not work. Here's the part where I go over the lab. Please pause the video and try it out. I promise it's not too hard. All right, so here we are taking a statement that is written with concatenation and we're going to write it instead with F strings. And so when I run it here, you see it crashes right away. That's because I need to cast this integer to a string first. Uh, but now let's say I want to write it with F strings. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the F in first, then I'm going to put it in the quotation marks, then I'll rearrange the text, and finally I will add the curly brackets with the variable inside. And after that, you see it works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.